that has been dyed, and it's getting, I'm getting ready to card it. Pick out some pieces. Come over to my Strouch Finest Motorized Drum Carter. It's turned on. Forward. The brush attachment is down. Uh, because this hasn't been carded before, I'm putting it on speed between two and three. Tease it open a little bit and let it go in. If I see little nubs, I'll pick them out. First time it's carded, you want it done slowly to give it a chance to do the carding action. is breaking apart pretty easily because I put a softener in it when I rinsed it after dyeing, not before dyeing. Just lay it there. You can hold it a little bit so that it doesn't go all in in one clump, but you don't want to pull back on it. See the parting action down in there? You just keep continuing to do this until the drum is filled up. You can see how full the drum is there. Are you having fun? <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Hands-free carding. Loosen the brush attachment. Hmm. What do you got over here for? You got fuzzles hanging off the glasses. Put it them? on reverse. One pass. That's what went in, and that's what came out. Second passes can be done a lot quicker. I have it on four. Split the bat, spread it out on the tray. And here I hold down with just enough pressure to keep it from grabbing when it's going in. So it goes in at a nice even speed. But it is at a quicker speed than it was before. Now you can see the action nicely close up here. Slow the speed down to zero. Put it on reverse. This is our fancy knuckle saving bat pick. Keeps your knuckles away from the card cloth. And you don't damage the drum by using a knitting needle. Put very slowly in reverse. Use your thumbs. Pull off your beautiful bat. 
second time through. From this to this in just minutes. <laughs>